Hey everybody, I have gone and dug out something that I've had for nearly two years. Um, I'm actually over two years, and it is a very large inverter. It's a mean well. Now, as I've got uh, pretty good daylight outside, but a lot of car traffic. Let's take this outside and open her up, and I'm going to give you some details on it. might speed this up in the film for you. And you can see over here, it gives you all the certificates. It gives you, it's been actually physically tested. Um, here is the uh, port of entry, I guess you'd say, the import tag for it. And you're going to spend six, seven hundred dollars for it. Do you want a inverter made in China or Taiwan? I'm going to stick with uh, with going with the Taiwanese route here. This is pretty well put away here. Now, this is a pretty good size. Now, it fills the whole box. This thing is extremely large. And there's the covers for the battery terminals. This thing is extremely large. So I'm gonna cut camera right now. And then I'll pull this out and set it over here on the table. All right, now you can tell by the way it's packed exactly, I mean, how well it's protected. And it's, it's, it's a, that very, very resilient foam, including bands of foam around the body of the inverter there's the nut and bolt kit that goes on these these are about 3 sixteenths maybe a little thicker it's metric so it looks like about a four or five millimeter thick lugs that are probably about 20 probably about 20 to 23 millimeters wide and they're using bolt and you can see inside of the bolt a little bit they are copper tin coated copper so that's if you can look in there, see that in there, that's tin coated copper too here. So it's very heavy lug, uh, very heavy, very heavy post. Um, it uses two internal fans that are not cheap. This is manufactured with Japanese components, Korean components, some select Chinese components, and and it's made with a majority of Japanese and Taiwanese components. Now, this is made to be hardwired, like you've probably seen it. If you look at my other videos, I cut holes in the back right at the edge and hardwired them so that I could still use their outlets and then mounted them on the wall. So this one here, I don't have to do that to. It has uh, two 15 amp services here and two, I believe 20 amp that are right here. So now, the way that this thing here works is completely different from most inverters. Meanwell inverters, this brand of inverter, it's the most common that you will find in $300,000 motorhomes. This is one of those Harbor Freight knives. It's the only thing cheap enough that you can use as a Missouri pig sticker. And you can see by its size how big this is. Now I have two 1500s and two 3000s and now I have a a third 3000 and this is an opening review of this inverter they are very well built the other ones I have the newest one has been running three years they're they're easy to service to but the newest one has been running three years the oldest one is almost five years 24 7 believe it or not they never stop they, they run constant the mean wells have a higher dependability rate than any inverter I've ever purchased. So for 750 bucks to get a 3,000 watt true sine wave inverter that has very, very, very good high load capacity, you can't beat it. This thing is 92% plus efficient, so it converts nearly all of its power to usable electricity. 
So now this is the the I believe the F model or A model. I'm sorry, this is the A model. They do make an F that uses a particular outlet and a G has a GFCI on this and things like that. But as far as function, you can't beat a mean well, not for the money. None of the other ones compete that well. All right.